Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to WWE 2K17 My Career Mode, The James Fish Chronicles. We're here on SmackDown. We have some unfinished business with the certain longest reigning Universal Champion, Kevin Owens. In fact, rumor ears, here in Iraq. Wow, again, very, very weird schedule. Uh, James Fish is going to call him out. So let's see if that happens. Oh, oh, maybe Kevin Owens heard that James Fish was going to call him out today and beat him to the punch. But this man, Kevin Owens, again, the longest reigning universal champion in the history of WWE. In fact, I heard him on uh, one of the latest Talk is Jericho podcasts. Absolutely great. Go and watch that. Listen to it. I guess the podcast can't really watch a podcast. But let's see what he has to say. I am not a man that goes out seeking conflict. I don't poke bears because I know it gets me nowhere. I am, first and foremost, a career man. I have a wife and kids. I don't pursue vendettas. I pursue opportunities. But I'm also not a man to be trifled with. And ladies and gentlemen, there have been, there has been some trifling. I've been making, I've been making a living uh, yeah, words. I've been making life a living hell for everyone back in that locker room. They fear the day that they enter the ring with me because they know there is nothing they can do to prevent the beatdown that I'm going to deliver. That nightmare comes true today for one specific superstar tonight. Dang it. Enough. Enough shouting. All of you just shut up. You're making me even angrier. Stop it. James Fish, get out here right now before I explode. It is time for war. It is time to fight. Owens, fight. Strong words from Kevin Owens. Is James Fish making his way out here? Yes, there he is. The United States champion. He's been champion for about two and a half months now. Looking confident. Almost almost cocky, which is what we have to expect from James Fish now and Owens. I rate right now. Fish taking his time to the ring. He has that smirk on his face. You know he's up to something. You don't become United States champion. By not having a game plan every time you make your way out to that ring. But let's see what he has to say. Wait, 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 wait. Let me stop you right there now. Now I know you do I know now I know what you're wondering why I'm out here. And I'll promise I get to that. But first, I got a question for you. Exactly what makes you think anyone cares about a single thing you have to say? The only reason these people are here is to watch me, the United States Champion, your favorite wrestler's favorite wrestler, the best wrestler on the face of planet Earth today, James Fish. Hey, this is my time. You have no right to come out here and step into my spotlight even though I just called you out five seconds ago and I seem to forget that yeah cause Kevin Owens big dummy <laughs> I keep hearing all this talk about a superstar on the rise came from the indies made a name for himself now he's trying to find his way into WWE people come up to me and say hey this guy's really making waves then I come out here and all I see is a poo emoji, a turd, with a microphone. I asked you many times to show me the respect I deserve. You didn't listen. And tonight, I ain't asking no more. This is my ring, my house, my WWE Universe, and I will ruin everything this company has to offer if you don't start respecting me.
See, Kevin, I'm just going to assume that you don't watch this show much because if you did, then you know who exactly I am and what I'm going to do to you. And you'd be much less eager to step in the ring with me. Not that it matters anyway. The ending is the same. My head raised in victory and you slumped over in defeat. Normally, I'd be more than happy to have a match and teach you a lesson, but I've had a rough day. Traveling to explore excuse for a city was an absolute nightmare. Being surrounded by these rank, uneducated simpletons all day has affected me greatly, so I regret to inform you that we will not be having a match tonight. Alright, no match. Let's have a fight. You want to fight Owen's fight, huh? How about this? James Fish now putting the boots to Kevin Owens. Oh, nope. Well, <laughs> that was uh, that was an interesting maneuver by Fish. Oh, we've seen this. Oh, no, Kevin Owens. The athleticism for a man his size to escape the butterfly suplex like that. That was incredible. And Fish now rolling to the outside. Oh, Kevin Owens gloating but gets hit with a catapult. Tilt a whirl. Side slam into the clothesline as the ref finally gets out here to stop this. James Fish has a match tonight with, with Cesaro, so I don't think this is the smartest decision. But enough's enough. Kevin Owens has interrupted him, has called him out, has mocked him, and Fish just snapped. But how will that affect his match tonight with Cesaro? Alright, later on at SmackDown. Making his way to the ring. The self-proclaimed greatest United States champion of all time. The seven star wrestler. Your favorite wrestler's favorite wrestler. And the best wrestler on the face of planet Earth today. All self-proclaimed. James Fish. And you gotta wonder. What the effects are from that brawl he had earlier today with Kevin Owens. Now, Cesaro's not a slouch. Cesaro can go inside this ring. And he is a very, very tough opponent. And if Fish isn't at 100%, that puts him at a severe disadvantage. But only time will tell. As his opponent, James Fish, not even taking the time to look. And there he is, the King of Swing, the Swiss Superman, Cesaro. Pound for pound, probably the strongest person in all of professional wrestling, let alone WWE, making his way to the ring. And this guy can do it all. He's strong. He's technical. And he can fly if he has to. He is so close to becoming a breakout star. And can he use this match against the United States Champion James Fish as a springboard to get to that next level? As both these competitors wait for the bell and there you see Fish is a little banged up, not quite 100%. As Cesaro hits a beautiful shoulder tackle. <laughs> Woo! Excuse me. Try to see in front of the microphone. Or away from the microphone as Fish hits a beautiful missile dropkick to the back of Cesaro. But Cesaro. Oh, that was very... Oh, nope. Messing up. Cesaro with a Mishinoku driver. Every, every move is a Mishinoku driver, right? Oh, try to put this away quickly. Go for the armbar. I don't know how to do the rest. Oh, nope, nope. Go away. Go away. Ah! 
Okay. I I need to practice. That's the mission. Because I, I, I'm so bad at it. I'm just being honest with you guys. Huge back body drop now by Cesaro. Now an elbow. Straight to the forehead. And Fish showing his own strength with a nice suplex. And Fish going high risk early, looking to put Cesaro away. Hits it. Sarasota elbow. And goes for the quick pin. One. Two. No. Cesaro at a count of two. Nice drop kick. And Fish. Beautiful. Single arm monkey flip, I think it's called. Oh, it's Zaro throwing fish to the outside. If he does that in the Royal Rumble in a couple weeks, Cesaro has a very good chance at winning. Cesaro, what's Cesaro looking to do here? Oh my gosh, a huge forearm off the apron. And now Fish. Fish going high risk. We've seen him do this before. Doing things people cannot even dream of doing crossbody over the stairs. My goodness. And again, throwing Cesaro into the steel steps. Ref now at a count of two. And Cesaro back. Back in the... Get on the apron. Ref, get out of the way. Ref, get out of the way. <laughs> Springboard frog splash. And a huge clothesline now by Fishes. Going high risk again. Looking for the seven star. Fish splash goes for the pin. One. Two. No, Cesaro. Out of count of two, able to kick out. Uh, how do we do stuff? Uh, nope. Nope. <laughs> Very weird stuff going on. Oh, an interesting maneuver by Fish. What's he looking to do here? Twisting Cesaro up like a pretzel. Oh, stop. Right to the elbow. And Fish looking to put Cesaro away. Eyeing him. We've seen this before. Lifts him up. DD guillotine on the top of the head of Cesaro. Let's see that two more times, probably. And, oh my gosh, the neck and head of Cesaro. He has to be out. That's it. One, two, three. Okay, that's it. <laughs> uh, that, that's all it took. Beautiful Sarasota elbow. Best elbow drop ever. Only getting the two count though. I think that was after the fish splash, yeah. The seven star fish splash, but that's what put it away. The DD guillotine. And a very nonchalant cover. Cesaro was really out. That must have knocked him out. Oh man, didn't get this. Oh, this is what I wanted him to kick out. Only well, got three and a half stars. You know what? Oh, we, we had our fight with we had our fight with Kevin Owens. We needed an easy night. So let's see what we got on main event. All right, guys, we're back here on main event, and you know where we are on the card. The main event. We are the main event of main event. Which, let's be honest, that's not saying much, but you know, whatever. It sounds cool. Throw it on a T-shirt. That might be my next t-shirt, I don't know. <laughs> um, but we're making our way down to the ring. And we are taking on a man who needs no introduction. Because we've beaten him so many times. That literally describes like five people in this game. But uh, it, we are beating them. I guess, hopefully, we probably will, let's be honest. We're beating the man who we beat to capture... The United States Championship. That's right. We are taking on our old rival and and the former best friend of our current rival, 
Kevin Owens. That's right. We are taking on still one half of the NXT Tag Team Champions, Sami Zayn. Let's go. Okay, you, you don't get an entrance. I just like your song. I just like saying, let's go. But you don't get an entrance on here, Sami Zayn, because I've seen it so many times. In fact, in real life, I don't even like seeing your entrance anymore. I'm like, oh man, it just takes me back. The WWE 2K17, where like all I hear is your entrance. And, oh, dropping Zane right on his head. That beautiful modified DDT. I think that's an Impaler DDT. If I have my wrestling moves correct. Oh, oh, and a nice takedown by Fish going back to the fundamentals. I said that really weird as <laughs> he hits an Itsuguri. Uh, what's, what's this move anyway? Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. There's like, if I like just stand here. Oh, it's a crossbody. Okay. I missed. Because I'm too athletic. I jumped too far. Overshot Sami Zayn. I'm too good of an athlete. As Fish now on the apron. The hardest part of the ring. Oh. Oh, now they're both on the hardest part of the ring. Sami Zayn. Back suplex. Onto the apron. The hardest part of the ring. Did you know the apron was the hardest part of the ring? I didn't know that. I certainly did not know that, even though Michael Cole says it every Raw, like literally for the past year. Anytime a move is done on the apron. Well, it's the hardest part of the ring. Oh, nope, what am I, what am I, oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. We're gonna find a count of four, but Zane breaks the count. Oh, that's, what am I, nope. Um, ooh, I want to do this. Let's go. Oh my gosh, a huge tumbleweed. <laughs> but I missed. Two. Oh, wait. I'm, uh, he's already getting up. Ref now at a count of three. And fish showboating a little bit. Oh, I can do it. Oh. Whoa, whoa, ref. Ref, what, what was that? Now, Zay with an exploder suplex. Almost. Literally throwing Fish out of the ring, but Fish was able to recover and hit a Fishman suplex. But my goodness. Oh, is Fish going here? Modified surfboard stretch. Jeez, that ref was... Uh, like, I don't I don't even know what to say about that, except pretty, pretty moonsault. Oh, oh, man. <laughs> pretty, that was a pretty moonsault until I landed. And then it wasn't. Oh. Sami Zayn, three, oh gosh, three fourths of the way across the ring. Went, went for the seven star fish splash, but fish unable to connect. And now Zayn firmly in control. Maybe I spoke too soon. Went for the blue thunder bomb. See you, bird kick. I love saying that. That's so much fun. And lifting Zayn. Up the same way he put away Cesaro. DD Guillotine. You know we can't end the match there. I didn't hit all my moves. Sarasota Elbow. Pretty, pretty moonsault. And plus, I'm still only at three and a half stars. Zane with a nice arm drag. Oh. Oh, nope. Zane has a... Uh, get out of the ring. Get out of the ring. Oh. <laughs> Save with the comeback. He's feeling it. Drop kick. Second drop kick. Oh, I missed it. Sweet neckbreaker. Sami Zayn is now feeling the momentum. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Get out of the ring. Get out of the ring. Get out. Nope. I can't get out of the ring. Can't get out of the ring. Get out of the ring. Nope. Didn't work. Crud. Is he going for himself in, like, in the corner? Does he have a special in the corner? Oh, the expl- Okay, he does. He has that exploder suplex. For some reason, he was going for that in fish. Oh, no, no, no. What? Both these men on the top rope. Butterfly suplex. My goodness. 
And now Fish going on the apron, the hardest part of the ring. 450. And now Fish is feeling it. Oh, and Zayn with a nice reversal. And Fish with a nice, oh, rest hold. I don't want to do the, get out of the rest hold. Get out of the rest hold. Oh, I can't, oh, I can't break the rest hold. Crud, I didn't want to, oh no, 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 he has a finisher. He has a finisher and I don't have a reversal. I do not have a reversal. Run, 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 get out of the ring, get out of the ring, get out of the ring. There we go, okay. <laughs> oh man, that was close. That was very, very close. <laughs> it's a, it's a nice arm drag take down. Okay, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna shot here for a little bit. Or are we? He doesn't have a catching finisher. Because you can't catch into a closey catch. You can't catch into a haluva kick. Oh, missed. <laughs> no. Okay, he's at a counter one. I'm good. I can, I can take my time. Oh, nope. <laughs> almost missed Sammy Zane there. Oh. Oh, a nice body slam. And, oh, go. There he is. Going up. Looking to hit it now. Seven star. Fish splash and gonna make sure Sammy's not like in the ropes or anything. Didn't see it. No, no, don't do that move. I don't want you to do that move. Stop it. Stop. Stop. It's not. Oh gosh. Oh, a beautiful takedown or beautiful move by Fish, and again going high risk. Oh, we haven't seen that before. The 450. One, two, three. It's over. Oh, oh gosh. Oh my good. Oh, ah. Ooh. my goodness. Sammy Zayn. I just became one with Sammy Zayn. <laughs> I know we wrestled a bunch, but man, that was scary. It was like some, uh, Oh, I didn't even show the replay. Oh, lame. <laughs> but man. Ooh, that was scary. Sam Zane just like, like fused. Like we like Dragon Ball Z fused together. I don't know what it's technically called, but man, that was crazy. All right, going into week three of January on SmackDown. Who are we fighting? Dang, Deep Bry, all right. We're taking on Daniel Bright and what you are sure to expect to be an absolute excellent match. So guys, if you like this video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you're excited for this Daniel Bryant match, which is gonna be incredible, just like telling you right now, go ahead and hit, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's gonna get you, keep you up to date with all of my content for more awesome videos. And I will see you guys Next time.